In this lesson, let's talk about arrows and lines. Remember that we are just going through stuff and the different features of Prezi, and then we will use all that knowledge to create the presentation together. Also remember that we work in a workplace with many levels. Every time we add a subtopic, we are adding an open canvas. And in this particular open canvas, we're going to insert arrows and lines. Uh, before doing that, let me add a couple icons that will help me show better how this works. Let's change the color and make them smaller. Now let's add our arrows and lines. Let's say that we want to add an arrow on orange that goes from here. Let me insert also shape. To here. Please pay attention how the arrow sticks at some point, book sticks to the image that I'm approaching to. And let's add another one, another arrow that goes to here. I want it to stick and stick to this element. The main feature of working with lines and arrows is that they stick to elements. So if we want to move them around, when we move the elements, they are related to the arrows will change accordingly. We can also change the curvature of an arrow. Because we want to add here our logo. So let's upload it from my computer. But this is not going to work because the colors are not right, but it doesn't matter. We want to exemplify how the arrows work. Of course, remember always that when you select an object, we have the contextual menu for that object. We can change the color depending on the preset of our theme. We can choose a specific color. We can change the opacity. See what happens when I change the opacity of one of the lines. See how this is solid and not transparent, while this one is having a slight transparency to the background. Again, click and you have the contextual menu. You can change the thickness, make it thicker, stronger. And you can also save the element to your library. So if you have an arrow that you like, that has the colors and the transparency and the form that you like, then you can add that same image from your library. Remember, right click, add to my library, and then when I go to insert arrows and choose my library, I will have the arrow ready made here. That's it on uh, the basic lesson on arrows and lines. Uh, see you in the next chapter.